Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. Today we're continuing with our chestnut series. Last week we harvested these chestnuts and in this video I'm going to show you how I roast them. On last week's video we left off rinsing them in the sink and drying them off. Today we're going to start with scoring them. And to score chestnuts you want to place them flat side down on a steady surface. Using a sharp paring knife cut an X into the rounded side of each nut. Or you can buy one of these handy little gadgets like I have. This nutcracker has a cross blade design that is sharp so all I have to do is put the chestnut in it like this press it down until I hear it crack the shell it just needs to crack the outside of the shell you don't need to press it all the way into the chestnut it is a whole lot safer for me to use this than a knife Here's what the inside of a chestnut looks like. This one popped in half because I went down too far. I cracked the shell and I kept on going. I've experimented with chestnuts a lot over the last year and when roasting chestnuts, I've read that it is not necessary to soak them. So I didn't soak them the first time I roasted them and they did not peel easily and they were hard. They were not good at all. So I now make sure I always soak them before roasting them. Some people say soak them for an hour. I soak them overnight. I've tried an hour, I've tried four hours, and then I tried overnight. Overnight makes the best chestnuts in my opinion. So all I do is I place the scored chestnuts in a bowl of filtered water. I cover them and soak them overnight. Now that they've soaked overnight, I drain the water from the bowl. And we're going to be roasting some of these. I'm not going to be roasting all of these today. I do not have a fire pit, but I hear that they are really good over an open fire. I'm going to be roasting these on my Lodge kickoff grill. I'm starting by getting my charcoal lit in my chimney. Oh, and I also have a chestnut roasting pan. This pan is made for roasting chestnuts with its long handle and holes in the bottom. Once my grill is heated, I fill the pan with chestnuts and I place it over the hot grill. Chestnuts are eaten raw, roasted, dried, candied, pureed, um, made into flour, and people eat chestnuts all over the world. Chestnuts are full of vitamin C, zinc, folate, potassium, copper, selenium, and magnesium. And it's a great source of nutrients and all you need to do is go into the woods or into your backyard and collect them if you have a tree. <laughs> and it's also been said that the first ever chestnut to be roasted was in Rome during the 16th century. They sold them on the street as a snack. And to this day, they are still a very popular authentic street food throughout Italy, Asia, and New York City. Once the chestnuts have roasted for about five minutes, shake the chestnuts in the pan to turn them and continue roasting until the shells start to pull back. The cook time depends on the amount of heat you have, and with this grill, it takes about 10 minutes. If you're doing this over an open fire, it won't take quite as long. You'll start smelling them cook as they get close to being done. They have a nutty smell. And you can also season them to your liking or eat them plain. I like to sprinkle a little garlic salt over them when I pull them off the grill. And this is what they look like when they come off the grill. The shells peel right off. They're warm, soft, and delicious. They have a sweet, buttery, nutty flavor to them when roasted. Some people say that the flavor reminds them of a sweet potato. And there are many ways to prepare chestnuts, but this is how I roast them. Next week, I will show you how I make chestnut flour. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself projects, bird videos, gardening, and drill-worthy human and doggy treats. Y'all have a blessed day.